Hello again. So in this lecture we are going to talk about datum and spheroid. There are two different terms datum and spheroid. So we'll start with what is a spheroid. A spheroid is a mathematical description of the earth's surface. Now you know that the earth is actually not very very smooth. The earth is actually not very very smooth it is approximated to be a roundish surface it is approximated to be an oblate spheroid so the description of the oblate spheroid is called the spheroid all right so in this particular spheroid there are two parameters that we use one is what we call as a semi major axis that the term is called a and the second term is called the flatness and it is represented mathematically as 1 upon f Okay. Now there are various numbers that people have. The numbers range from somewhere like 298 to maximum 301. That's the range that we have. So various people have different opinions of what should be a spheroid and what should be the parameters of the spheroid. All right. Now what are the different descriptions of the Earth's surface? So let me tell you about the various descriptions and various descriptions are WGS 84, WGS World Geodetic System 84 and Everest and Clark and other descriptions are also there. Now uh, let me tell you that in India what should be used? In India the survey of India has used traditionally the Everest datum. Everest spheroid sorry I'm sorry for that in India people have used the Everest spheroid and recently the global positioning system uses the WGS 84 spheroid so Everest and WGS 84 these are the datums that are that these are the spheroids that we use in India now if in India if somebody says that he or she is using the Clark spheroid then you can realize that that person is telling you something fraud it is not going to work that way the Clark spheroid is going to cause an error in the mapping because it fits more closely to American terrain than the Indian terrain all right now what is the datum now datum is something again a datum is a surface from where you measure the heights so the spheroid is typically used for x and y coordinates the datum is used for the z coordinate the typical in in civil engineering surveying people use the mean sea level as the datum but if you see the diagram of the mean sea level uh, try to google it you will see that the mean sea level is actually not a very very smooth mathematical surface again so therefore there are various different descriptions of the datum so mean sea level is one of them but the mean sea level is not very accurate and as a result the WGS 84 again is used as a datum in India Everest again is used as a datum now one of the questions that people ask in a geographic information system context in a mapping context that if the spheroid and datum are two different things can in a map they be different yes the answer is yes they can be different but always remember there is what we call as the principle of parsimony always try to choose the simplest possible thing before uh, committing into a map always try to choose a very simple thing don't complicate things by choosing a different datum and a spheroid yes it is technically and mathematically possible but don't complicate things that's the issue 